Hey everybody, good afternoon. I thought I'd take you guys on a little tour of my uh, of the figs that I've discovered here on my property. There's a number of them. At first I didn't see any of them, but um, you know, as the summer, as this spring is uh, moving into summer, I've found uh, several different trees here. And of course I'm located in uh, Newcastle, California, which is near Sacramento. And figs grow wild here because we have the pollinator, which is the fig wasp. So figs um, seem to want to, they seem to like growing near water, like creeks or whatnot. And uh, sure enough, I just, I found these probably a week or two ago. There you go. There's a real live fig. And uh, certainly not one that somebody planted. There's uh, several of them sprouting up here. Here's another one right here. Several of them sprouting up here. I don't know if this is the same tree that just has uh, like different sprouts coming up or if these are different. It's probably the same tree. You can see there's some over here. And uh, there's some, there's some back there. Let's see if you can zoom in, see those leaves there. I think it was, I think it was this tree right here that a lot of the branches have died on it. Yeah, cause you can see the fig leaves here and that goes back to this, this tree that comes up out of the ground there. And I think, I don't know. No, I don't think that's part of it. Anyway, it's just kind of all over the place here. There's another one back here. And I think this is a, this has got to be a different one. It's just too far away. Oh, and the leaves are different too. You can see the leaves on that thing. The, uh, there's a little bit of water flowing through here, like a little bit of moisture. So um, another good place for a fig to grow. You can see another um, stalk coming up back there. I see those leaves. So this area here, there's a bunch of figs growing. And I haven't seen, or trees, I should say. I haven't seen any actual fruits on these. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, maybe they don't have a Braba crop, or maybe they're just not producing fruit for some reason. But if they don't have a Braba crop, if it's just a main crop, you know, this early, maybe I just wouldn't see them. It's kind of, the main tree is kind of uh, back in the brush over here. Go around. Yeah, you can see it there. Kind of cool. That's pretty cool, huh? <clears throat> so it's pretty neat to just find fig trees. It's still, there's just a lot of brush back here. So there's probably still, you know, some I haven't haven't found yet, maybe, I don't know. I just found a couple the other day and they're all here on my property. It's about four and a half acres. But a lot of it's, a lot of it's pretty heavily um, wooded and stuff. And so, you know, it's, it's just hard. Oh, look at that. I did not see that until just this moment. I'm not even making this up. I just saw this as I was sitting here on camera here we go again down by the creek here and look at this look at this huh. i'm really amazed i didn't see this earlier look at those leaves big leaves are so neat Let me try to get in here closer 
a lot of blackberries and stuff back here. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely a fig tree. Here's the, here's the wood. Comes back. Look at this. This is a pretty decent size too for this, this fig tree. Huh. I can't believe I didn't see this before. Yeah, this is a big one. I don't see, I'm trying to find any fruit. See if you see any fruit here. I don't really see any fruit. But um, this is, uh, yeah, I'm really, really surprised I didn't see this. So this is another wet area down here. They really like it down here by this creek. There's just figs all, all along here, really. That's pretty neat. A little path through here. Some sort of animals have been going through here. Maybe some deer or something. Wow, that's pretty cool. Again, I don't see any fruit on it, but I'm just looking at it for the first time, so, um, you know, maybe, maybe there are some little figlets. We're just right here down by the, you know, I call it the, well, this is the waterfall. Actually, this is where the irrigation water is pumped up, up to the house. I can't believe I was just sitting there saying, oh yeah, there's there's a bunch there's probably some more fig trees here somewhere. And uh, sure enough, there's one right in front of me. Well, I'll show you the others that I found. So these, these trees here are really big and um, they're right on the property line. They're actually mostly over the property line, um, but they're just huge. So you can see, look at that, look how, look how big that thing is, look at that big tree. It's kind of in this mountain of uh, blackberries, you know, there's blackberries all around it. But you can see the size of it, I mean. There's the top, kind of goes over there, over here. You know, this is all a big fig tree. And again, right here by the creek. And you can see some back there, kind of in the shade. It, uh, there's actually, you know, this is the neighbor's property, but there's actually, um, I think that might be the same. That might be, I think that's a different fig tree right there. And then, way in the back, there's another one back there. So they just really like growing along this creek here. And I found another one. It's kind of, it's actually not on the creek, but there's a little bit of a, a drainage back here. Definitely, uh, you know, not so much in the summer, but other parts of the year, it, um, it can get pretty wet in this little drainage. And I found a fig tree back there. I'll just go back there for a second. There's a lot of poison oak back here, so I, I gotta be careful because I'm wearing shorts. A lot of blackberries too.
yeah, I see some, I think that's poison oak right there. Well, let me see if I can get through here. This is really kind of nasty stuff back here. Let's see if I can find this fig tree. It's kind of back, if I could clear out these blackberries, there's blackberries right back here. I could probably just walk right back through here. But there's a lot of blackberries. Oh my gosh, more poison oak all over. Um, and I can't see it here. Let me, I'm gonna have to go all the way through. You know, poison oak, they say some people are, uh, don't, are, are not affected by it. And um, I have not actually been affected yet. But when I was in Virginia, I, um, I had a lot of poison ivy. And at first, you know, I was clearing it out of my yard because I didn't, I had a, it a, you know, it was a suburban area. And so it wasn't like a large backyard. Um, so I wanted to clear it out. And I did. And, you know, I would, I would get all dressed up and I would pull it out by the roots. And um, I never had any issues with it. And I thought maybe I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be affected by the poison ivy. But then um, I kind of let my guard down. And one day I was getting sloppy with it. And I got poison ivy all over myself. And I just got a huge rash. And it was, it was pretty nasty. So, and then I definitely knew I was affected by it. And they say the more exposure you have to it, the worse it gets. And uh, like the more sensitive you are. And so I think that's probably where I'm at with poison oak. I just haven't been exposed to it very much. And so I'm not really sensitive to it, but as I get more exposure, you know, I'll, I'll just get more and more sensitive to it. I think that's, you know, that's my theory at least. It's just a theory. So I, this was a lot of blackberries back here and I, I cut it all away. And so now it's like a, a tunnel, you know, it's like a path and I've cut the blackberries. This is actually the property corner right here. Eventually I put in a fence. That was the purpose of cutting all this away was uh, in order to do the survey and then once the survey is done I can uh, put a fence in but, you know it's you can't really put a fence in uh, where there is no fence um, without having done a survey there's just, there's just no way so I had to do a survey and then the markers were actually in the wrong place there's uh, monuments all over the place that old surveyors have and put in the ground and unfortunately mine were in the wrong place so I've had to do a oh here we go look at this that looks like a fig look at that I had not seen this before so there we go there's another one um, looks like this right here this branch I don't even know what the, I didn't even this doesn't even look like this is growing it's just sitting here on the ground in fact i'd cut it down earlier um but that definitely looks like a fig look at that it's got to be a fig it's a big branch um actually the other fig is right around here we're pretty close to it now and actually that looks like a fig over here yeah right through here hard to see you can see those you know fig leaves are so distinctive so uh it's hard to see because there's so many blackberries but um those look like fig leaves to me but it, the one i was thinking of oh here we go look at that i got more coming up here 
this is uh okay this is connected oh that's interesting what is this connected to yeah, that does, that branch doesn't even look like it's connected to anything it looks like it's been cut down huh that's crazy what is that ouch i kind of wonder if that big you see that big trunk there i kind of wonder if that is connected to all this let me turn it back out of here a little bit okay hmm you know it's hard to tell i got this uh right here i was kind of wondering if this was a loquat you see those big leaves Big, uh, big leaves like that. I don't know. Probably not. Be kind of cool if it was, though. Okay, so there is. Uh, I mean, this. There's a fig tree back here because this is all. I mean, you see all these figs growing up here. This is this is a, a piece of it. This right here. What is this? No, this is the tree with the big leaves loquat looking leaves okay here's i think this is more of the fig more of the fig right here i think it was back i think i don't even think that was the one i was thinking of though i think there's another one over here Oh yeah, there it is. This is the one I was thinking of. Let me try to get a better look. Can't go in any farther because there's poison oak all around here. Yeah, you can see that. Look at those leaves there. Big fig tree. Look at that. Beautiful. So there's a fig tree right here. Um, and that was the one I was thinking of. It was kind of in, that, in the drainage. Turns out there's more there than I, than I realized. Yeah, so that's it. Those are the, those are the ones I've seen so far. And um, actually a couple new ones that I saw just now, just walking through here. So that's pretty cool. Only one of them has fruit on it. And um, I should have showed that. Let me... When I walk back, I'll show the one that has fruit. So I'll be back in just a second. Let me get out of here. Well, I was just walking out of here and I found another one. So I'm right here. I'm right here by this property corner that I mentioned. And there we go. There's another one right there. So this one's on the neighbor's property, just on the other side. Oh, you can see all the, the fig leaves here. Lots of different fig leaves. So that's pretty cool. Oh, wow, yeah. Wow, look at that. It goes all the way up. This is a big one. Let me see if I can show it on the camera. See that, that tree that goes all the way up? I mean, you can see the leaves way up there. Look at that. Just a big tree. Neat. Lots of figs here. Let me go show that. Go back to that tree with the fruit. All right, here. So this is the one that has the fruit. And let's see if I can show it here. On the camera. There we go, look at that. There's a lot of fruit on it actually. There's some right there. There's some. Yeah, so I tried picking some of this fruit earlier, and I don't know if it's just way too early or what, but it was not edible or even close to being edible. Wow, I can really smell the fig. You know, figs have that real distinctive smell. 
It's a really nice smell. Fragrant. Um, let's see if I can find another fig here. Oh my gosh! Oh! Just fell in the creek. Oh! Oh well. Let me see. Oh, this is a big one. Let me grab this one. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So still not ripe, you know, for sure. But let me break it open and see what's inside. I think they're probably capper figs, but I don't know for sure. Okay, there we go. I broke it open. Yeah, that really looks like a capper fig to me. I mean, I'm, I don't know much about capper figs, but to me, that looks like a capper fig. And of course, uh, for those who don't know, a capper fig is a male fig. So it's, it's pretty cool that I have a, a capper fig, a giant capper fig right here on my property or on the property line. Would have maybe been a little bit cooler if it had been a delicious new variety, but um, hey, I'll take it. A big capper fig tree, that's nice. Maybe I won't have to worry about, um, well, I certainly wouldn't have to plant a capper fig with all these fig trees around here. All right, so that was the last one. Those were all the trees that I know of and actually found a couple new ones here today. So that's kind of cool. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, until next time.